Hello friends, you're welcome back to another scholarship opportunity. And today we are going to explore the DAT EPO scholarship in Germany. So if you're an international student looking forward to a fully funded scholarship program in Germany and not worrying about the blog account, then the scholarship is for you. In today's video, I'm going to take you through an overview of the scholarship. We're going to look at the application requirements and procedures and the eligibility needed in applying to the scholarship. Now that is not all. I'm also going to assist over hundreds of students in applying to this scholarship. So if you want to be part of these students, then click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you stay updated to every post on this channel. Now let's get into the details of today's video. So guys, the EPOS scholarship supports um, development-oriented postgraduate study programs and the scholarship offers foreign graduates from development and newly industrialized countries from all disciplines with at least two years professional work experience, the chance to take a postgraduate or master's degree at a state or stage recognized German university and in exceptional cases. Um, to take a doctoral degree and to obtain a university qualification that is a master's or a PhD degree in Germany so who can apply to this program now if you are a graduate with at least two years of uh, professional experience from the following countries then you can apply to the scholarship so let's look at the list of eligible countries um that students coming from these countries can apply to so guys if you're from any of these european countries that is albania belarus and ukraine then you can apply for the daddy pos scholarship also if you're from africa that is algeria egypt libya morocco tunisia angola beni botswana burkina faso burundi cameroon kevet central african republic chad Comoros, Congo, Congo Democratic Republic, Cote d'Ivoire, Djibouti, Equatorial Guinea, Eritrea, Iswatini, Ethiopia, um, Gabon, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Kenya, Lesotho, Liberia, Madagascar, Malawi, Mali, Mauritania, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, Niger, Nigeria, Rwanda, Sao Tome and Principe, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Somalia, South Africa, South Sudan, St. Helena, St. Helena, Sudan, Tanzania, Togo, Uganda, Zimbabwe, Zambia. Then you can also apply to the that EPU scholarship. Also, if you're from America, that is Belize, Costa Rica, um, Cuba, Dominica, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Grenada, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Jamaica, Mexico, Montserrat, Nicaragua, Panama, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, um, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Gunaya, Para Paraguay, Peru, Suriname, and Venezuela, you can also apply to the scholarship. If you're from Asia, um, and you're coming from Iraq, Iran, Jordan, Lebanon, Palestinian territories, Syria, Yemen, Afghanistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Georgia, India, Zakastan, Maldives, Myanmar, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Cambodia, China, Indonesia, Korea, Laos, um, Malaysia, Mongolia, Philippines, Thailand, Timor Leste, um, and Vietnam. You can also apply. And lastly, if you're from uh, Oceania, that is. Fiji, Kiribati, Marshall Island, uh, Micronesia, Nauru, Nui, Papua New Guinea, 
Samoa, Solomon Island, Toku, Tukelu, Tonka, Tuvalu, Vanuatu, Wallis, and Butuna. Then you can also apply for the Dad EPO scholarship. Okay, so if you're from any of the mentioned countries or territories, then you can apply for the Dad EPO scholarship. So, what can be funded under the Dad EPO scholarship? That is, what programs or courses can be funded under the EPO scholarship for 2024-2025 academic year? So, let's take a look at these programs. So, on this page. They have the programs that you can apply to, the host institutions, the language you are taking the program in, the type of degree, your duration in Germany without um, learning the German language, and then the deadline for submitting your application, okay? So let's take a look at the programs in details. Under the Economic Sciences Business Administration and Political Economic Session, we have programs like a um, master's program in international and development economics msc development economics and small enterprise promotion and training and the development cooperation we have development management geography of environmental risks and human security born international graduate school for development research sustainable development management and PhD program in resource nexus for sustainability transformations. Under engineering and related sciences, we have hydro science and engineering, textile machinery and high performance material technology, master of engineering in energy and environmental management in developing countries, water resources and environmental management, sustainable renewable energy technologies, Photogrammetry and Geoinformatics, Master's Program Infrastructure Planning, Air Quality Control, Solid Waste and Wastewater Processing Engineering, and Natural Hazards and Risks in Structural Engineering. Also under Regional and Urban Planning, we have Urban Management, Regional Development Planning and Management, and Master of Science Integrated Urbanism and Sustainable Design. And the agricultural and forest sciences, we have tropical forestry, international PhD program in agricultural economics, bioeconomy and sustainable food system, tropical and international forestry and agricultural economics. And the natural and environmental sciences, we have MSc marine biology, that is international studies in aquatic tropical ecology. Then we also have tropical hydrogeology and environmental engineering, environmental governance, landscape ecology and nature conservation, natural resources management and development, integrated water, integrated water resources management, um, renewable energy management, integrated water resources management, and then environment and resource management. Under Medicine and Public Health, we have Master of Science in International Health, uh, Master of Science in Global Urban Health, Master of Science in International Health, and Global Health Risk Management and Hygiene Policies. Um, also under Social Sciences, Education and Law, we have Vocational Education and Personnel Capacity Building, International Education Management, and Master of Laws in intellectual property and competition law and the last program is under the media studies and the program is international media studies okay so these are the programs now um your program will be funded if the duration of the program is within 12 to 42 months okay dependent on the study program that um, you are into or you're pursuing now let's look at the value of this scholarship program now, depending on your academic level, you're going to receive a monthly payment or stipend of 934 euros for graduates or 1,200 euros for doctoral candidates. Also, payment towards your health, accident, and personal liability insurance will be covered. 
your travel allowance unless these expenses are covered by your home country or another source of funding then it will also be covered now under certain circumstances the scholarship holder may receive the following additional benefits monthly rent subsidy and monthly allowance for accompanying members of family okay so now let's look at um the requirement that you must meet um if you're a potential or a prospective scholarship holder first of all you should either um be working or have worked for a public authority or a state or private company in a developing country um, in such a way that you are engaged in the planning and execution of directives and projects with emphasis on development policies having a bearing on technology economic or social areas okay then you also should be a bachelor degree holder normally four years in a related subject you should also have completed an academic degree with far above average results that is upper third and at least two years of related professional experience after the first degree at the time of your application and your academic degree should normally not be more than six years at the time you are applying now you can now apply to this scholarship program um, if you are an applicant who have resided in germany for longer than 15 months at the application deadline for the language skills now the program is in such a way that um, some are being taught in english some are being taught in germany so if your study course is taught in germany then you should have a minimum german language level of b1 at the time of application and also if you are um also if your program is taught in english then you should have ielts certificates with a band six or tofl with a minimum of 550 paper base 213 computer base 80 internet base now in most cases if your official language in your home country is english and you were such in english in your previous studies or your entire life you have spoken english and have been taught in english then you don't need to present an ielts score okay i mean an ielts certificate or any of the english test certificate it is it can be exempted or it may be exempted if you meet the requirements i have mentioned and a good thing about this scholarship is you will move to German earlier, six months before your program starts to learn the German language. And the cost involved in learning the language or will be borne by EPOS that scholarship, okay? So there is no need to worry about that. Um, however, if you are being taught in German language and you think you're going to use a six month language course to cover up, then it is not acceptable. So kindly bear that in mind. So now let's look at the application procedure. Um, to the scholarship program so first of all you have to gather your document okay uh, for your document it depends on the school but for that that has some specific documents that you have to provide in submitting your application to the course program now first of all applications have to be sent to your respective courses directly so you send your application to the school directly and it is a one-time application application is totally free so you send your application to the university and to the program you're applying to then you look at the school's required documents needed in applying you gather those documents and you add that of that um documents as well so the documents required by that when you are submitting your application is a completed and signed checklist the that application form a curriculum vita in reverse chronological order without any unexplained gaps and please use the Europass template including exact information about your studies and on practical experience so i've made a whole video as to how you can create an Europass cv okay so i'll leave the link to that video in the description box to check it out and also you will need one letter of motivation with detailed preferences to academic professional and personal reasons for applying 
to the program now you can apply to as many as three courses under this program under the scholarship program um, however all those three courses should be in one letter of motivation so you give preference as to which program you first want the second and then the third and all should be in one letter of motivation now your letter of motivation should not exceed um, two pages Ma maximum page is two it shouldn't exceed two pages you also need a um, list of letter of recommendation from your current employer the letter must include official letterhead signature official stamp and must be of current date you also need certificates of employment from your employer showing at least two years of relevant work experience after the bachelor's degree um, up to the time of your application if possible and then you also need your recent proof of language skills that is the german and then the english so for the english um, a proof can come from your current employer or from your previous university okay you can go for an english proficiency um, certificate or letter again from your previous university you need your degree certificate and full set of transcripts now your transcript um, should provide an explanation of the grading system if it is not part of your transcript then you should request it from the university and then lastly applicants from the people's republic of china are asked to submit an APS certificate with your application document so these are basically the documents that you need in applying for that EPOS scholarship okay so um with that being said let's look at the application and selection procedure okay the very first step is to send your complete applications directly to the according postgraduate course the second step is a selection committee suggests potential candidates for the DAT scholarship and then the suggested candidates will be contacted by DAD latest by February to upload their uh, complete application to DAD portal and then the selection process will be finalized and the suggested candidates will be informed accordingly. So that is the procedure or the process they use in selecting applicants okay so that is basically all about uh, today's video my next video will be on how to complete and sign the checklist and then how to fill the dad application form so kindly watch out for that so if this video has been helpful please click on the subscribe button and also don't forget that i'm assisting over hundreds of students in applying to this scholarship so do want to click on the notification bell to stay updated on every post i make on this channel okay so that is all for today thank you so much for sticking around so like right now and see you in my next video it's a bye for now